Chapter one, our story, your story, a little about me. When our son was about four years old, 11 years ago, he was facing a lot of health challenges. He had asthma, stomach aches, reflux, was vomiting over 20 times a day, and eventually developed difficulty swallowing. He pretty much felt sick all the time. Despite taking $350 worth of medication a month, that wasn't even controlling his symptoms. To make a long and dramatic story very short, we discovered he had a disease of the esophagus called eosinophilic esophagitis that was exacerbated by multiple food allergies. Within days of removing the allergens from his diet, his asthma was gone and never returned. Within a few weeks, his swallowing started improving. Within several more weeks, his reflux, stomach aches, and vomiting subsided. We were ecstatic. Our little boy was happy, healthy, and thriving. And for the first time ever, we were thrust into the reality that food has the power to hurt or heal. Once we saw the benefits to our son's health, we delved full force into the allergen-free world of eating. Because our son was so young, we decided that 100% of the food in our home would be free of his allergens for all four of us in the family so that he wouldn't have to watch us eat food that he couldn't eat. I distinctly remember the day we got his allergy results. When I showed them to my husband, his first response was, I guess I'm going to have to find a way to make more money to afford our new grocery bill. So even before we had begun, we accepted the myth that eating an allergy-free diet had to be expensive. We also accepted the myth that in order to eat an allergy-free diet, we had to cook complicated food. So from the beginning of his diagnosis, we spent a ton of money on groceries, and I worked countless hours in the kitchen preparing complicated dishes that focused heavily on substitutions. I spent two to three hours every day cooking everything from scratch. Fast forward several years. We were running a couple of businesses, homeschooling, and busy having more kids. Our life got busier. I no longer had two to three hours a day to be in the kitchen. So we ended up eating out a lot. Somewhere along the way, we recognized that we weren't living a financially responsible life. We weren't going into debt, but we were mismanaging our money terribly. We weren't setting aside enough money for taxes. Every time taxes were due, we had to scramble to come up with thousands of dollars. We weren't setting aside anything for retirement. So yeah, we weren't going into debt, but we weren't saving for our future either. We reached a point where we decided that this was no longer acceptable. We wanted to become financially responsible, to be able to pay all our bills with total peace, to have a large emergency fund just in case. And we wanted to one day have the option to retire with dignity. To accomplish these financial goals, we had to bring our food spending under control. When we finally stopped to calculate how much we were spending on food, it turned out we were spending $1,200 a month on groceries and $800 a month on eating out. This didn't include our toiletries or cleaners. We were spending $2,000 a month just on food as a family of four. Looking back, I can see that we were literally eating our retirement. I needed to get serious about our food bill, so I became a student. I read everything I could find that pertained to food spending. I bought a few budget books that I thought might help, but none were specifically geared toward people with food allergies. So I had to adjust a lot of the advice to fit our family. I spent time researching and shopping around to find the best prices for food in my local area. Most importantly, I sat down and evaluated what habits I had created that had gotten our family into the position where we were spending $2,000 a month on food. I honestly evaluated my planning habits, my shopping habits, and my cooking habits. By doing this, I was able to see the patterns that led to such extreme spending on food. I used those realizations to develop an entirely new way to think about food, shop for food, and prepare food. And that is how Dinner for a Dollar was born. It took some time, but I was able to get our family, which is now a family of six, down to $720 per month grocery budget and $300 per month eating out budget. That $720 a month breakdown comes to $1 per person per meal plus $1 per person per day for snacks, or $4 per person per day. By adjusting how I thought about food, shop for food, and prepared food, I was able to free up $12,000 a year in our family budget. $12,000 of savings in one year. Seriously, it's, it's hard for me to believe that this 